All right, this is our trombone lesson at Madison for Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. It is a remote learning virtual lesson, so just watch this video, practice along with it, pause where you need to, and then uh, when it's all said and done, practice for about 20, 20, 30 minutes, okay? So find you a, a section of time, like 3.30 to 4, 4 to 4.30, a good time to make sure that you practice every day. Um, and get some time playing every day. So uh, make sure you get your trombone out. Um, I'm gonna go through this quickly because uh, all the technology I've been videoing all day for different band classes, music classes, and uh, I've been using my charger and everything, but my um, technology um, is uh, the batteries are dying in everything that I have today. So I'm gonna have to get everything charged up again. But uh, we will have this uh, lesson virtually and then uh, again, next week, I'll see you virtually. So make sure you look through pages uh, two, three, um, how to take care, how to put together the parts, uh, uh, setting up nice and tall, how do we need to have our posture, our mouthpiece, all those things. And now we're going to play pages four and five out of our band book. All right, for trombone, we start on the F note to start in our book. Remember, we talked about the low buzz, <laughs> opposed to the high buzz. So that higher buzz is what we need uh, for that F note that we start with in first position. Practice that till it's nice and consistent. The air is there every single time, right where that is. The corners are back, and then my ear is fast. Okay, and then once it goes into the into the instrument, remember how it goes at the ninety degree angle. Your spit valve goes to the outside, to the right, so you can get that out of your water key or spit valve, whatever you want to call it. All right, and then this goes over your left shoulder. You bring it to you. Remember to have that gun to bring the water gun and to bring that from your brace over to here and bring your fingers in and then use this. Like I said, if you need to use a couple more fingers right now, you can, but you eventually want to get to that lobster claw, that thumb and first two fingers above this. All right, so first position out. Two, again, go. Like I said, sake of time and my battery life, I'm going to have to keep going. So if you need to, rewind and listen to it again. Make sure you get that pitch at F, okay? All right, number two, make sure that we keep the B, and it's a nice full-length quarter note. It's held out. So ta, 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 not ta, ta, ta. No, it's not nice and short like that. we got to let it ring out, okay? So I need four of those. Good air, one breath. Not not four puffs of air, not pluh, 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 no, one. And then ta, 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 ta. Okay, one, two, ready, play. Two, three, four. Good. That's what number two is. And you make sure you count your four beasts at rest at the end. I know I was talking to you there. But make sure you always count your rest because they are important. All right, number three, the new note. So now you're going to go to third position for E flat, okay? Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So look where that E flat is, where the silver is. Check your book, even in the back, it has a slide position chart. You can see where your positions need to be for each one. It shows you where um, your slide should be out to there. All right, now you work on that note. Like I said, if you need to rewind, you can at any point in time. All right, number four, two's a team. So we're actually going to play the E flat four times a quarter note. So make sure it's full value quarter note. We make sure we take one breath and the airstream goes steady as the word tonguing does the four tonguing uh, notes on each quarter note. Okay, not just... Hua, hua, hua. No, not just puffs of air, but one breath, tonguing, and get good ones. So let's go to E flat again. Four of them. One, two, ready, play. 
Slow it down, slow it down. Ready, go. Rest, two, bring it back, go. Just like I was telling saxophones, you can't wait till the time you need to change, then change real fast. You gotta change before it even happens. Your slide's gotta go right there. It's gotta be laser beam right to it. <laughs> All right, number five, heading down. Now you're gonna to go to a low D, which is gonna be at your bell. Remember, you don't bring your fingers out and hit it. Nope, they don't want you to use that, so make sure you just go down to your bell. Get a good D, call, ready, go. Two, ready, five. Listen for the tuning of that, the center of that pitch. You gotta hit it like a bullseye right in the middle of that pitch. You can't just hit out somewhere in, out in that, like, <laughs> somewhere there. Nope, it's gonna be. There's a tonal center, it's like a bullseye that you have to hit every single time. And you have the great instrument to keep in tune because you can just tune with your slide. All right, so that was um, the D. Uh, note on heading down. So now we're over to number six. So six is called moving on up. So we're going to have uh, D's in there and then E flat and F. All right. So let's play that together. One, two, uh, one, two. Ready, play. slower ready go Sorry, I have to go so fast through this, but you can pause, you can rewind, you can do what you need, okay, as you need to go through this. Now we're going to go to sixth position for C. Remember, fourth's here, fifth, sixth, okay? Let's try that again. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, okay? Ready, long haul, ready, go. space each one of these notes is on like F is in the on the fourth line E flats in um, E flats in the third space with the flat beside of it um, D note is on the third line and now the C note is in the second space so you got to memorize that so you got to memorize what the letter name is where it is on the staff and then memorize what position it's in okay so a lot going on Eight is called four by four, so we're gonna be using all four notes. And at the end, there is a repeat sign, so you gotta repeat it back to the beginning. All right, starting your low C. One, two, ready, play. Touchdown, so we're going down lower. So now we're at first position, low B flat, nice and slow air. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. So when you're playing long notes, you should relax that tongue. Oh, and those lips are nice and relaxed on that low note, okay? So number 10 is the last one that you need to practice. Make sure you're practicing pages four and five now. 
and it's called the Fab Five. So you're gonna play all five pitches. And you gotta, like I said, that B flat is on the second line now with the flat beside it. So you have to start memorizing that because eventually the letter names will not be written on the note. They are now to help you, but eventually they'll go away. So make sure you practice uh, being able to read it and what position it is and what note it is. All right, make sure you repeat. So we start in low B flat. One, two, ready, play. Scratch. All right, sorry, Charmone, but uh, you're going to have to just forgive my mistake there because I can't get it to erase right now because the phone's being almost dead. So um, just forgive that, and here we go again at 10. Sorry. The fifth note it goes up to C. So it's in the second space. One, two, number 10, go. It's called a blip, and I don't want to get rid of those blips and make sure it's a nice full quarter note. So let's do it one last time, and I won't make any mistakes. So you work with me, uh, like I said, then practice and get your time in, okay? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> get off of here and but you have a great week and i'll see you again um, remotely and uh, virtually next week next tuesday so practice make practice 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 and then i'll see you next week have a great week bye